Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you, uh, of course, have checked your Windows updates on Friday, late Friday, the uh, 24H2 version of the bug fixing updates have arrived late in the day. So um, they rolled out through the weekend. If you looked at Windows Update, if you don't look at Windows Update, of course, they're not installing. Uh, they are not mandatory for now. They will be at the Patch Tuesday updates. So what's in there? Well, first of all, it arrived in a Windows update that is, uh, if I look at my update history here, KB5055627. And I actually installed it on Saturday, I believe, or yesterday, Sunday. I think I installed it late. Uh, if you have a Copilot Plus PC, it's a huge update. Uh, anyone with Copilot Plus PC as the recall previewed as now available for almost everyone. The uh, click to do preview, another AI feature is available. There's a lot of things. Uh, improve Windows Search also on Copilot Plus PC uh, and, and so on. Narrator as update, uh, phone link. Some of you that have um, either Copilot Plus PC and even some without Copilot Plus PC might have seen after this update that when you go to the start menu, there's a new panel on the right side of the start, which is a panel that has the phone link um, widget basically or phone, phone link uh, start panel for uh, doing things and you know sending SMS easily and so on. Um, widgets have had some tweaking also. Uh, widgets is not something I use really. Uh, but there is a few tweaks there. Um, and um, on Copilot Plus PCs, once again, there's some uh, new uh, features that have to do with File Explorer also. For the rest, for most people, uh, what is done is bug fixes. So there's a start, the fixed um a, a problem and start that you can touch gestures to view a list of apps. Uh, the sign out and more options, buttons in the start menu, account manager might not be visible sometimes. Taskbar, uh, when you have an app open, like here I have settings, there's an underline. Well, if that icon stays on your taskbar, sometimes that uh, line beneath to say that the app is open would not go away. Uh, Desktop icons, there's um, a new way or a fix for the way that they were actually appearing uh, and been updated. Uh, graphics, external graphics cards connected over Thunderbolt might unexpectedly um, be not discoverable. In some cases, that's fixed. So quite a few little things that are fixed in here. Um, Dynamic host configuration protocol, the HTTP client, uh, the fixed an update that address an issue affecting internet connectivity on some devices. Uh, blue screen error message that was observed uh, installing the security updates of April um, now is fixed. Uh, also, um, Windows Hello uh, fixes another problem that causes uh, Windows Hello to not work sometimes on specific devices. Uh, stuff like that. So if you install this, it actually uh, will bring your Windows version. If you check with WinVert to um, the version, oops, did I start it? So WinVert, here we go. So it brings your version to 26100.3915. And if you don't need or don't have any problems, you can leave it alone. It will install anyway with Patch Tuesday. Often I say it might be better actually to wait until Patch Tuesday because if something pops up has a problem with it, uh, well, it has a chance to be fixed before Patch Tuesday. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.